hear from me i'm charlie this is moving here with charlie and um i now know that a lot of you have been watching me for getting on for a year now some of you have only been watching me for a few weeks some of you are brand new so i wanted to do a quick recap because i think what's happening in the mortgage market right now in london just as we come into the beginning of june um is a pivotal turning point which represents represents a couple of things first of all in the last year or so, we've seen the supply of homes for sale increase by around about two thirds, about 60, 65%. In the same period, we've seen buyer demand slump by 40%. So supply is up and demand is down. On top of that, interest rates are now much higher and climbing than they were a year ago. On top of that, we haven't yet seen the full effect of interest rates coming through. And last autumn, when I first called out what I saw as the forthcoming house price collapse, we're now just beginning to see, I think, the delayed effects, the time lag effects, the land registry showing now five straight months of monthly house price falls. And just today, um, I've had a contact from uh, people in the mortgage sector saying that it, it feels like the mini budget crisis all over again. Swap rates are going up, lenders are pulling products, uh, announcing rate increases, and announcing they're expecting the Bank of England rates to increase. And when that news filters through and everyone's had enough time to digest it, what you're going to realise is that because now everyone's expecting interest rates to continue increasing well into the autumn, and because we're now learning that the housing market takes a full 9 to 12 months before the effect of rising interest rates is felt, and because we know that the higher interest rates go, the more it forces house prices down, we can now say with almost total certainty that the downward pressure on house prices is not going to let up for probably 18 months at best. So end of 2024 at the earliest, and we won't see that reported until 2025. Now, as people, as the reality of that starts to dawn, a lot of the sellers who've been holding on to hopium that somehow someone's just gonna come along and pay their crazy asking price, those sellers who want to move or need to move are probably going to start gradually increasing numbers going, okay, let's drop our price, let's get sold. Do we want to get sold or do we want to stay here? If we want to sell, we're going to have to drop our price now. The switched on forward thinking sellers will do that sooner rather than later and will say to their agents, okay, we now just want to move. So could you please get whatever offers you can get and let's see where we are so we can make a decision about whether to accept them or not. Um, and for buyers it's just going to get harder i would i would suggest if you're close to offering on a property that you get your offer accepted as quick as you can so you can get a mortgage rate secured before they go up any further but don't overpay don't overpay don't overpay okay overpaying for a long long time is why we're in the mess we're in now because so many people have been using the property market as an investment vehicle rather than a housing vehicle. And I think we're now seeing the chickens come home to roost from that strategy. Um, I think a lot of the small retail investors are gonna be getting out or getting their fingers burnt quite badly now. Um, Zoopla just today announced that 11% of the market is landlords selling now, or there's 11% increase, I can't remember. Um, but I think the worm is turning finally. It's what, it's what I've seen coming all along. Um, but there's been immense denial from the industry uh, and from the investor community. But I'm sensing a gradual capitulation and acceptance of the reality of, of what's happening now. So nothing's going to happen overnight, never does. Um, but as we move into the summer and into the autumn, you're going to start hearing anecdotes about more and more sellers taking bigger uh, reductions to get sold. And then as that starts to trickle through into the Halifax and Nationwide Mortgage House Price Index, which has got a two to three month lag, then you'll start to see the proper falls happening in those. And then finally, the real laggards, the ones who are really, really slow to wake up are gonna go, oh, oh, oh. But by that time, they're already too late. They've, th those sellers I'm talking about are already too late. They've missed the market that, and they're gonna be having to take massive drops on their price. Uh, going into next year. It's, it's so painfully slow how this happens. When you can see what's going to happen, you know what's going to happen, and you see how many people just 
with no logic apparently whatsoever. They're just going to hold on. Well, we only need one buyer. If you've got a dream, unique property, yes, you'll still get a great price for it. <clears throat> but if you have a mainstream property and you need to move, um, I would ask your agent to get you offers now. And if they can't, I would change agents as fast as you can. Um, so um, I hope that's helpful. I want to do a quick update. Um, and